Hello friends, Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, back again with a face cam video. <laughs> I'm sorry, no games today. I was challenged by Squeaky Smurf to do the hashtag person behind the games challenge where I give my viewers 10 facts that they probably don't know about me, which even though I try to keep my real life off the channel, there's a lot of stuff that is openly available. Um, I'm from LA. I'm a comedian, etc., etc. But um, I had to really scrape the bottom of the barrel. Hopefully, this video is satisfactory for you folk, and I will be tagging three people to take the challenge on their own at, at the very end of this. So, links are in the description. Hope you will enjoy that, and let us set it off. My name is indeed Brandon Dayton. <laughs> Dayton does is not a moniker. Well, it Dayton does is a moniker. Brandon Dayton is not. Um, it is my born and legal name. Uh, fact number two is that I have a shotgun, so don't try and look me up. Uh, I keep it in my closet. I have only like 12 shells, but they're about five years old, so they probably don't work because the firing mechanisms in them expire after a set amount of time because... You know, people in primers, and you gotta be able to make your own primers for the Zombocalypse people. Just, I'll throw that out there. That's a handy hint for me. <laughs> but I ramble. Fact number three, um, my gerbs. So, I used to work at a vitamin manufacturer when I first started doing YouTube videos and stuff like that, and it was, I was doing a lot for how much I was paid, basically doing all of the inventory stuff, bottles, caps, uh, raw materials that are compressed into vitamins, and I was getting paid minimum wage. So I decided to look for something else, and now I'm working at a gas station, United Oil, they got 401k and all this good stuff, so I'm kind of excited about it. Uh, Armenians are dickbags though, they'll like walk up and just pay and change, and they're like, yeah, 10 on 7 bro, and it's like, fuck man. And now this person's gonna stand here and look at me like I'm stupid because I'm counting change because I don't want my drawer to be short. Ah! <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying to get out of that. Um, in September, I'll be going to the New York Film Academy for digital editing, which I'm very, very excited about. It will up production values, hopefully, on my YouTube channel as well because uh, God knows it could use it. <laughs> Warner Brothers is right down the street from me. So, if I could uh, get an in over there, that would be absolutely fantastic. And just by having you guys stick around, that's, that's already sort of putting me on my way, giving me some confirmation that I'm doing the right thing. So, I appreciate all of you guys. I don't think I tell you enough, but I really do. Fact number whatever this is, <laughs> is that I'm 27 years old. I don't know if you believe in star signs and such, but I'm a Sagittarius. Uh, which means we're pretty good at everything we try. However, not very good at sticking with it. Uh, I've, I've tried really hard to stick with this YouTube channel and stand-up comedy and hold it all together. It is a difficult thing to do, but um, life is a difficult thing to do. So, get used to it! Get over it! We're now! Uh, one of my greatest fears Okay, there's like drowning or burning alive and shit, but I don't really fear that, you know what I mean? Because it's probably not going to happen. Everybody lives to 70 and we just die in a bed nowadays. <laughs> so my greatest fear is actually balding. Oh my god. Um, I think I'm losing a bit off the top because of my diet and I do live kind of a, a stressful life. I don't get that much sleep and I... I push it to the limit, sorta, which I should not do, and sometimes the quality of my video suffers for that, I suppose, probably, looking back. <laughs> so I'm trying to get it together um, in order to avoid my greatest fear of all. Dun dun dun! But man. <laughs> Uh, my favorite band. I am quite a music file, as a matter of fact. Maybe it shows in a couple videos. Uh, I absolutely love all kinds of music. I could name, you know, bigger bands and shit. But I really, really have listened the most probably to Johnny Hobo slash Pat the Bunny slash 
wingnut dishwashers union who's all headed by the same guy and it is punk like basically you know a three or four chord progression and simple as shit but I think that's where the best music is. Like, I've listened to really technical metal and shit like that. And while it, it does sound good, it doesn't strike a chord with me as, as simple as something like like punk. <laughs> There's blues, which is a lot simpler sometimes. But, um, yeah, I want to be happy at the same time. You know what I mean? Let's be happy while we're fucking shit up. Why not? <laughs> um, my favorite show as a complete series I would like to say like you know Game of Thrones or something like that but it's not complete Walking Dead not complete (laughs) so I don't really know if that's my favorite show Um, as a complete series at this moment I would say Breaking Bad is probably my favorite show Uh, it does show that you know crime doesn't pay but there's also a few deeper messages within just just a really good social commentary on what the everyday American goes through. You know what I mean? He's on a teacher's salary. He wants to leave something, but he's going to be prosecuted for it. And just, like, I I understand completely. As the everyman, yes, I do. <laughs> Believe that. Um, my favorite movie series, I suppose, as a whole, would be Anchorman 1 and 2. But for completely different reasons, which is why I think I love them so much. Because Anchorman is just... Anchorman is just silly as fuck and doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And then Anchorman 2, while it's still sort of silly, it also has this, like, really hard underlying message that I completely believe in. And people are like, you know, I I hate this reality TV (laughs) bullcrap. People want to go watch Jersey Shore... And they're like, oh, I do it ironically. And it's like, no, but because you do that, they get ratings. You're validating it by doing that. So stop, you hipster shit. (laughs) I hate. Um, So yeah, it had a lot of good messages about what real news is supposed to be, which people seem to have forgotten. Fox News always does their little, some people say... Etc. Etc. And it's like, well, fucking cite your sources. Is this a news channel or not? It's not just Fox. It's fucking MSNBC, CNN. I see it everywhere. I've largely had to abandon um, TV <laughs> because of that. Like, I do watch certain shows. Oh, Dexter could have been one, but they fucked up the ending really hard. Sorry. Anyways. <laughs> Um, I do play a couple of instruments. I play the guitar and the trombone. Shittily. (laughs) I can play the guitar. I barely play the trombone. Uh, I can read music. However, it's not something that ever resonated with me. Uh, I guess I can sing sort of. (laughs) Enough to do parody videos and not be completely ashamed. Uh, But that might just be because I'm shameless. I don't... (laughs) No. Oh, I should maybe pursue music a little more. A lot of people around me have pursued it to great success. However, it's not my real passion. Like, I really love video games. I want to review things. I want to I wanna be able to edit with the best of them, is what I want to be able to do. And uh, my final fact is my favorite game console. We will bring it back around to gaming because that seems about right. Yeah. (laughs) So I might get a lot of flack for this, but my favorite game console is indeed the GameCube. (laughs) Super Smash Bros. Melee is the main reason for that. Me and my friends still get together, sit around and play it. Nostalgia out, I suppose. Um, It also has great games that nobody's ever heard of, like Custom Robo. I've spent so many hours playing Custom Robo. And even though it never really got a good Star Fox game, um, we did eventually get one that was Star (laughs) Fox-esque. Not the Dinosaur Planet one. And it it delivered in a lot of ways. Uh, The Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time remakes... Master Quest, when I pre-ordered Wind Waker. Uh, Console gaming had a lot of good things for me back then. However, I've decided to move 
to the PC, um, so that's why I haven't really stayed current. I have played Last of Us and uh, NBA 2K15 and shit with uh, my roommate on his PlayStation 4, but it's 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 not my sort of thing. I'm not very adept with a controller <laughs> or a mouse sometimes, <laughs> depending how much sleep I've had. So. This has been 10 Facts About Me. I'm not going to ramble on anymore. I'm sure it's already completely unbearable. <laughs> Thank you for watching this far, if you have. Um, for my nominations, I would like to nominate Play and Tosh, Father and Son, and Sean... No, all of the Arnolds. I want to hear something from all of the Arnolds. So... <laughs> That would be completely ridiculous. Look for the links in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video sincerely. If you did, I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. And until the next time, friends. Bye-bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.